Hey, this is Digital Deepak here. And today in this video, we are going to review how the August month was for micro startup. So in the first month of our operations, which was June, we made a little bit more than 1 lakh in revenue. Then in the second month, we made around 2.3 lakh in revenue, which you can check right now by going to building.microstartup.com. So earlier, this blog was in a Substack blog. Now I have put it as a subdomain. So it's building.microstartup.com. It is still on Substack. But if you want to check, you can go ahead and check the report for June and July. So now let's look at the August month. Uh, how did we do in August? So it has been like almost a 10x jump uh, from July's revenue. And we made a total revenue of 20 lakh 18,235 rupees 0.54 paise. So how did we end up making that revenue and what are all the expenses here and what are all the expenses that we might be incurring in the future as well? That is what we are going to discuss in this video. So you guys already know that I'm running something called the micro startup inner circle. It's just a membership for 9.99 rupees lifetime. I do one Thursday call every week and we sold exactly 100 units of micro startup inner circle just by sending an email to my entire audience. And we made 99,000 rupees revenue in that. The significant amount of revenue came from micro freelancer program and it was 14999. I did a launch webinar. I invited my existing list to attend the launch webinar and we sold 125 units of it. So we made almost 18.75 lakhs revenue in this. But this entire 18.75 lakhs is not profit for us. Even though we did not incur any advertising cost in this particular uh, batch for getting this revenue, we have a lot of expenses coming up because I have promised people to uh, like, you know, give cashbacks. And cashbacks is what drives this particular program called Micro Freelancer Program. So people complete assignments and they, then they get cashback. So we have to wait and see uh, what is the percentage of cashback that will go out. So if you think that out of 18.74 lakhs in revenue, around 30% is what we might end up keeping, that would be 5,62,000. But we still don't know for sure. So I cannot just go ahead and take all this money home, pay myself a big fat salary or buy a motorcycle or whatever, right? So I need to give cashbacks. We had some bank related interest. Uh, maybe it's like some debit card bonuses or whatever. Uh, we had a credit of 701 rupees uh, related to banking transactions. And I did a meetup in Mumbai. And this particular meetup was a lot of fun. And you might have seen the photos before. So I charged 799 rupees for the meetup so that I have quality students who come into the meetup. We sold 41 units of it and generated 32,759 in revenue. We had one person book his seat for Alpha Club. Uh, he is going to join Alpha Club this month. Uh, that is 2.5 lakh per year membership. So he has paid a deposit of 10,000 rupees. And because we have already received it, it is also part of the revenue. Uh, just in case he decides not to join Alpha Club, then maybe I will refund, maybe I will not. Uh, but mostly he is joining Alpha Club. So. This has helped us generate 20,18,235 rupees in revenue. So let's look at the cost that we have incurred. Uh, employee salary, so I have hired one more person. I am yet to make a video about that. We will do a podcast, introduce that person uh, to the channel as well. So employee salaries for me and two more people in the team, uh, 2 lakh 10,000 rupees. Uh, we had a freelancer who did a bunch of video editing, design, work and everything. We paid him uh, or more than one person around 58,000 rupees. I traveled to Mumbai and got back. So 15,000 rupees for traveling expenses. Uh, we have digital marketing tools, uh, mainly active campaign and convert kit. So I'm using both the email marketing tools, active campaign and convert kit. And there we had ended up spending 1,44,000 rupees, which is actually a significant cost. But I have this email list built over a period of time because of my personal brand and I have to maintain the email list. Uh, we had a payment back in July and it was a 50,000 rupee payment. 
it was for a freelancer but we had a tds of 5000 rupees so that tds we end up paying in the next month so tds cost i am just putting it as this month expense uh technically it's it's, it's not even an expense but it's just a simpler way to account for things right and for the entire amount of revenue received from razer pay we have to uh, pay a razer pay fee which is a little bit more than 2% so razer pay fee alone has come to 50970 and the tricky part here is that they don't deposit the entire amount and then give us an invoice to pay them back instead they go ahead and deduct that amount and then they send us an invoice for the amount deducted so total expenses has been 4 lakh 85000 and total profit is 15 lakh 33000 but as i said we have to give cashbacks for you know all these people and because we have to give cashbacks a significant amount of this money will go out as expenses in the upcoming months i ended up putting that 15 lakhs in fixed deposit for a 3% interest rate which will earn me something like 2500 rupees for a 21 day fixed deposit uh, because if the money is lying in the current account without a fixed deposit then uh, it's not earning any interest 3% is not much but still 2500 rupees is 2500 uh, that will probably come in september's finances as an income and opening bank balance was 279000 closing account balance was 296000 uh, if you look at the closing account balance along with the fixed deposit that is 1796000 uh, minus the opening balance uh, when you look at the uh, opening balance minus then we should be getting the entire revenue here right we got 15 lakh 33000 but why is only uh, 15 lakh 16000 uh, is sitting in our bank account for the month of august because we opened it with 2 lakh 96000 ended it with 17 lakh 96000 so shouldn't the entire revenue for august be reflecting here that's because when you have payments towards the end of the month like let's say by august 31st i got some payments in razor pay Razor pay is not settling that amount immediately into my bank account. They are settling it in the next month, like the first few days of the next month. So pending payouts from Razor pay was around 16,000 rupees. Not much, but uh, that is why there is a small difference here. So this is how the you know um, month of August went. And uh, now if you look at, if we are able to continue uh, making 20 lakh a month in revenue every month, then that would be a run rate of 2 crores 42 lakhs a year in revenue. If you are making 50 lakhs a month, then the run rate, we say that it is going to be 6 crores a year in revenue. So obviously this month we are not launching a batch of the micro freelancer program. Uh, we will be launching another batch next month. And then there will be a lot of cashbacks that are given for these batch students, which will go out as an expense. So super happy to see a little bit of life in micro startup. Uh, instead of chugging along around one to two lakh in revenue, we suddenly hit like 20 lakh in revenue. Uh, I did expect that we will cross 10 lakhs in revenue. I did not expect that we will cross 20 lakhs, but sometimes you just have to put in the work and the results might surprise you. That's how entrepreneurship always is. And you should keep that in mind when you are running your own micro startup, right? Uh, you should do the work that is required and if you do the work that is required you might actually overachieve your goals and we cannot control the output we can control only the input and we have done as much input as we can for the month of august so right now uh, inner circle memberships are being continuously taken if you are watching this video and if you want to join inner circle then i will put a link below this video you can join so what you get in inner circle is a little bit of deeper insights about whatever updates I am giving you here. But you can also ask some questions in the weekly call that we keep doing and there is a community and there is a WhatsApp group. So you can ask me, Deepak, how did you end up making 18,75,000 in a single launch webinar where we got sold out within five minutes? So within inner circle, I can share the entire webinar slide deck, which I used to do the pitch. Uh, and I will be able to take some questions inside inner circle. So anybody who is observing from um, you know, the outside about how I am building this micro startup in public and has further questions, I recommend them to join Inner Circle. And the strategy is that as I keep nurturing people on the business perspective, uh, the upsell is Alpha Club. So if they would like to go for Alpha Club upgrade, where it's a mastermind program, where I help you 
reach 10 lakh a month in revenue, then that is Alpha Club. We have not started selling Mastery Club yet. Mastery Club will be an upgrade to Micro Freelancer program. So Micro Freelancer is for people who want to become freelancers and they are more like technical people. Technical people can join jobs as technicians or they can go ahead and uh, do it as a freelancer. But once you break out from, let's say, 3 lakh a month in revenue and you are going higher, 5 lakhs a month, 10 lakhs a month, then you need a team. Then you need to convert your freelancing into an agency or a micro startup. Ideally, a micro startup because micro startup can have a combination of coaching, consulting, agency and software businesses, as I have always explained in micro startup. And that's what I recommend people. And this will be the four products that we will be focusing on, right? Uh, you have micro freelancer program at 15K and then mastery club will be at 1 lakh. And then you have, uh, this is for people who are like wanting to learn technical knowledge. It's a different niche and customer avatar. And then you have inner circle for 1K and then you have alpha club for 2.5 lakh per year, which is a business consulting mastermind. So these are the four products we will be focusing on when it comes to the education part. Uh, in terms of agency and in terms of uh, anything else, we have not made any revenue in the month of August because we were focused on the coaching revenue. So uh, that's about it for this particular video. Um, I will also go ahead and publish a blog post about how the entire uh, August month uh, kind of turned out for us. So that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.